Hey, good morning. Can't tell if anyone is joining us this morning, but uh, today is Freestyle Friday. So I um, wanted to um, make sure that you either text me or write in your questions so that uh, I can answer them and address them. All right. And for some reason, I cannot see. I see that there are two people <clears throat> that are on the live. Good morning, Karen. There we go. Can't see you, but uh, <laughs> I know that you're here. <laughs> um, wanted to address a couple of things that um, I'm seeing uh, as patterns right now. Uh, last night, I actually um, uh, took a poll to ask you about where your number one lead source is coming from. And it looks like so many of you are really, really doing a great job working those referrals. And uh, that's what we want to stay focused on right now. Um, oh, good. You can see me. <laughs> um, uh, I, I want to be able to see who else is here. Good morning, Carla. Um, so getting back to referrals and making sure that um, you are working that business as much as you can. Uh, it, sometimes you can work and work and work on your referral business and see nothing happen from it. Um, and then all of a sudden it will explode at one time. You know, Josh Call just had that where he was making calls, making calls, making calls, and really not seeing any results. And then all of a sudden he had a bunch of applications that um, came in. So good morning, Jody. I see that you're there too. Um, uh, so what I, I want to make sure that you do is, you know, who do you need to reach out to? Who do you need to send thank you notes to? Who do you need to call? Um, just like Tracy said in the poll when I asked is, don't forget about your past clients. They're the ones who already know your experience. They know um, who you are. They know your value. They trust you. Um, they're, they will go out and be your foot soldiers for you if you ask them give them the ammunition and tell them exactly what it is that you need. If it is properties to sell, then tell them that you need properties to sell and how to set it up and why. All the people in the background that need that um, and need your help and need their help uh, because everybody wants to um, be helpful. They just have to know how and why they can help you. And uh, find a way to surprise people. Um, make their days better, and you will end up um, having more and more and more referrals. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I keep getting a lot of text messages, but uh, uh, didn't. it's not about this. It's about other stuff. So um, Friday is always a busy day. It's one of our busiest days because a lot of times that y'all will forget about what's happening and what's going on. Good morning, Rob. And uh, you forgot to order something and you've got an open house. So we stay pretty busy on Friday. It's really our uh, uh, busiest day. <clears throat> but, okay, so uh, Rob, Carla, Karen, um, uh, do you agree with what I was saying as far as referrals go? Do, um, is that how you've been getting your business? Carla, you um, have had such a great referral business this year already um, from uh, really a small group of people who trust you and uh, are sending you business over and over and over again. Um, uh, you've earned that right. And now you, we just need to grow that network bigger. And you do that through introductions and meeting several people at one time. So um, I always make the suggestion. Um, okay, got a question. Thank you. What are some inexpensive ways to increase referrals? Okay, good question. Um, and thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> so one of the best ways to increase referrals that is super cheap is just by asking for introductions. Um, my favorite way, you hear me talk about it all the time, is taking a breakfast to businesses of your past clients because they're going to introduce you as their loan officer or their realtor to everyone that they work with and um, you brought goodies and you have a chance to meet a lot of people or even if it's just three or four people at one time. So it's one of the least expensive things that you can do. Um, and also just getting out and um, I, I know that uh, um, one of, when I was a broker, one of my top agents, she was always, uh, you know, 
in the top five every single month. And uh, she would say whenever her business was down, she would just go to the mall so she could ask every single person she came in contact with who they knew that needed help. And she always came home with business. Um, <clears throat> and I know uh, I could do the same thing for real estate leads, um, is walk out and just start having conversations with people. Um, and a lot of times you just have to wear uh, your name tag and people will talk to you. They're going to be curious about the rates all the time. They're going to be curious about, um, uh, uh, you know, um, what's on the market and how it's doing. So even when they're not looking or knowing anyone. <clears throat> Some other inexpensive ways for referrals are um, client parties, okay? It gives you so many different touches because all the promo with that, all the reaching out, the phone calls, the text messages, the emails, the um, maybe the video promo, the invites they get in the mail, and then the follow-up from it and then the actual party itself and then the follow-up from that party um, it, there's so much around that that you can stay in front of people and bring a lot of value and um, uh, really have a, a, a good experience that will bring referrals um, you know we have those referral cards that we like you to use and we like you to use them three times through every process because your whole goal should be turning one person into three one that one person in front of you can end up being three um closings for you or three sales for you if you just ask the right way throughout the process um and using your referral cards as well um if, again if you want a copy of that referral card i'll be happy to post one and one what one looks like we just finished one for leanne um this past week but we can put it in the group and i like you to do that um uh, at right when you're hired and at the listing table or uh, at the uh, buyer agent agreement uh, for lenders. Um, uh, I'd like you to um, do that right after they uh, have agreed to hire you. And then on the celebration day, so right when they have the contract finalized, ask for another referral man. Say, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. And then lead it in to the next thing. And then after closing, or maybe a week after closing, you can mail them one. So um, yes, Karen, I love the client party idea too. You need to have one. Where are we going? <laughs> um, I've got uh, party planning right now uh, going on for one of our clients. That's going to happen in July and uh, it's going to be lots of fun. If you noticed last night was D.R. Horton uh, Derby night and People were super excited. You saw all the pictures on Facebook last night of everybody in their hats and getting ready and talking about it and thanking D.R. Horton. I mean, those events go such a long way. Now, some of you are never going to have an event. That's not who you are. You're not even interested in that. But um, when you do, uh, going all out um, uh, will end up getting you a ton of extra free publicity, just like we saw with uh, Derby Night last night. So, um, any other questions since we are on Freestyle Friday? And you can type them here because I'm actually getting the questions showing up on live. I just can't see all the lovely faces that I know are on here. So, <clears throat> okay. Um, as far as other patterns are concerned, right now, I mean, heat is on. Uh, Yana has got a bunch of contracts going on. Paige just got five under contract this week. Um, that can be a busy, busy, stressful time. So just make sure to take care of yourself. Um, uh, Jay asked me this morning if I needed a Snickers because I was acting like a diva. So, uh, <laughs> we want to make sure that uh, you um, are taking care of yourself and not needing a Snickers at any time. Let's see. <laughs> Tracy, she says uh, that she definitely hopes that I can't see her. <laughs> I can't see you, but thank you for contributing to um, the referral um, uh, question when I asked last night. And what she was saying is that she delivered pumpkins in October. And some of our clients did that. And it was a lot of fun. Um, such a great response. And she reminded us that taking care of them means they'll take care of you by spreading your name along. And really what you want, it's not so much, you know, spreading your name or passing your name along. It is convincing someone to use you and being that engaged in your business. And uh, they're definitely out there. You're probably going to be able to create, you know, um, at least 30 
in your business and everyone else, you might get um, one or two referrals from the rest of the year. But uh, you do have to have a systematic, uh, what I call, um, client nurture plan. And uh, when you have that in place, and you know, we like to build those out for the whole year. And I know it's easy to get sidetracked and um, not uh, uh, end up implementing all of it, especially when um, some of the stuff needs to be mailed. But it's just so important. So if you're not keeping track of name, address, phone number, cell number, um, uh, an email of your past clients, then start now. Keep that spreadsheet. Ask me for a copy of the spreadsheet that already has the formulas in it um, or the, the the um the rows and the columns in it <laughs> that are addressed. Um, okay, any other questions on Freestyle Friday? Don't see anything coming in. All right, you can see I'm at the office, so if you need anything, reach out. Otherwise, have a great day. On Monday, we're going to be talking about Facebook Marketplace and how easy it is for you to put your properties on it. So see you then. Have a great weekend.